tell. <laughs> I never can tell if I am live. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Am I? <laughs> I never can tell. But maybe I'll just wait until I see people here because I never know. <laughs> I never know. So let's just hope for the best and hope that I'm live. Um, maybe some people will come on and chat with me. <laughs> um, don't know though. <laughs> Hello, Pink Flamingo. Good to see you. Hello, Nine Jaguars. How is everyone? <laughs> How is everyone doing today? Hello, Stella. <laughs> I got Royce. Friendly. <laughs> How is everyone today? I thought I would do a spontaneous live stream because I... Just filmed two videos and I thought I would come on and talk to my friends, you guys, because <laughs> I'm a little bit bored. I want to say hi. So, how is everyone? Let's see the comments here. Um, hi, Gabby. Good to see you. Hello, Lynn. You are hi. Good to see you again. How have you been? Rachel, hi, Rachel. <laughs> um, Slurpee, good to see you again, too. How are you? Gabby, thank you. I like my sweater, too. Hello, Neurotic Guinea Pig. I remember you. How are you doing? Pink Flamingo is going well. Had a dance. Oh, goodness. Hello, Bunker Hill. How am I? I'm okay, guys. <laughs> I'm okay. Um, like I said, I just filmed two videos, and... I'm getting into editing those later tonight. Hopefully they'll be up within the week. Um, I'm trying to like get on the ball of more content. because so I've been taking a little bit of a breather, you know. <laughs> I got rice. I've been taking some time, but I'm trying to get that content rolling out there. So hopefully there'll be more for you guys soon. Um, Lynn White, I think I remember you. Um, you are just been good. Middle school sucks. Yeah. Did you get a haircut? I got a haircut, um, a month ago or so. It was before my Banff trip. So it's been a while, but thanks. I like having short hair. <laughs> um, that's great. Do you know sign language? I don't know sign language, unfortunately. I wish I did, <laughs> but I don't. So yeah. Sorry if this is weird, but you are very pretty. Thanks! I have the biggest, you guys, biggest self-esteem issues. So that means a lot to me because I don't think that about myself. So thank you. <laughs> um, what do you guys want to do today? Do you want to ask me some questions? Do you want to like hang out? Let's do some things. <laughs> I can talk to you about my day. Oh my gosh. I went shopping, grocery shopping with my mom. We went to Walmart and we went to Safeway. And I was in Walmart and I started barking because I was like, um, my ticks were bubbly. You know that? Like if you guys have ticks, you'll know this, but you'll get that like premonitory buildup of like fiery electricity. I was on the phone with my fiance, Will, and I was like, babe, there are bugs crawling on me. That's what it felt like. I was so discomfort. Like, so I had to leave Walmart, go in the car and wait for my mom because I was like, I can't be in public right now. Like, I'm just, I need to chill. Um, so that was kind of embarrassing because like, <coughs> um, a little bit embarrassing, but you know, that's what happened today. <laughs> um, and I was like, I don't want to be in public barking. Like, I, I don't, I'm not proud of my takes. Like, as much as I try and promote like positivity on this channel, I'm just like, I'm embarrassed. I'm still embarrassed. I'm a normal human. I get embarrassed. So hang on. I love your glasses. Thank you. Middle school was hard. Oh goodness. Hey, Nick. I've always had really bad self-esteem issues too. Yeah. You're absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Nick works at Walmart. I do know that. Your ticks are interesting. Yeah. How old were you when you discovered you had Tourette's? Um, <laughs> I was diagnosed when I was 12. I am now 24. So it's been 12 years. But my mom remembers me having ticks as young as like three or four. So realistically, we don't know, but I've had ticks a long heckin' time. <laughs> you have perfect teeth and you are very pretty. Thank you. I got braces when I was younger. So these are not natural. I mean, they are my teeth, but like they're not naturally straight. Um, 
but yeah honestly going to in public when you have bad takes is stressful like I didn't know what to do so I was like mom I'm gonna I'm gonna skedaddle um <laughs> because I was just really uncomfortable and I have that <laughs> tick that I do all the time it gets louder and louder um so I was doing my huh a lot definitely annoying um bye pink flamingo it's good to see you too I don't have Tourette's but I'm curious can you notice it in infants I don't think so I think it starts I don't know I don't honestly don't know I'm not a doctor but like I said my mom noticed when I could when I first started walking she noticed um my leg ticks when I first started walking I would do weird things with my legs and that was around three so I don't know how did they start yeah so they started with when I was young with leg ticks but then when I was around 10 I started having really intense eye blinking ticks and hard swallowing ticks and scrunching of my nose just very subtle like this I have tons of videos of me when I was like 12 scrunching my nose and I look back and I'm like I had a lot of ticks and I didn't even know so that's how these started um Gabby yeah you have beautiful teeth What's your favorite food? My favorite food, I really like steak. My dad makes the best steak I've ever had. Um, Have to get your wisdom teeth removed. I got my wisdom teeth removed. You guys, fun fact. <laughs> I had my wisdom teeth removed while I had a broken ankle. So I was like messed up for a while. Um, so broken ankle, Tourette's and wisdom teeth removal, very bad, very bad. When you bark, you sound like a chihuahua. <laughs> Thanks. I personally don't have Tourette's, but I love learning about it from you. Thank you, Kelsey. We love steak. I love steak. Huh, amazing. Amazing. That sounds awful. It was awful. Honestly, like, because I was in pain. Also having to tick. You know what's weird? Changing the subject completely. When you have a broken ankle, I have ankle ticks a lot. Where I will, I'm doing one right now where I flex my ankle and like move my foot around in like a circle. Um, when my ankle was broken, I didn't do that tick. So it was almost like my body knew like, you can't do this or else you're gonna hurt yourself more. So that's a very strange thing. Like if you're injured very severely, like to a broken bone point, I didn't have my ankle ticks. So I don't know. Bye Lynn, hello Connor. Stella, I was diagnosed with Tourette's two years ago. I'm glad my videos can help you. Tori, I love you. You should text me. I haven't seen you forever. It's good to see you. I can't believe you subscribed to me. That's so cool. I am really grateful that you're here. We should hang out sometime. You guys, Tori is my friend from middle school. <laughs> um... I feel like it's the same impulse that doesn't allow you to bite through your tongue or fingers. That would make so much sense. <laughs> like, honestly, um, that makes sense. I wonder, I wonder, like, what, what the science behind that is. Um, Tori, I love you. Yes, text me ASAP. I still, if you're still here, when you gave me that astrology reading, oh, love it, love it. Um, um. <laughs> Your videos are so amazing. Thank you, just a fox in a box. <laughs> Does like chewing ice or doing a specific thing help calm your tics? Um, not really. Like, um, sometimes like chewing gum or like sucking on a candy can get rid of vocal tics for a little while, <laughs> but it's up in the air. It depends on the day. Um, Hello, Hallie. Tori, I'm excited about that. Funny story, I play guitar and keep my guitar in a case and one day I came to open my case. Oh, I wonder what that was, that's so weird. Yo, Arts, do you know what the liquid was? <laughs> um, but yeah. You guys, I own eight cats who like to go to the... Did your cat pee in your guitar case? I wonder, I don't know. I'm predicting, you guys. Um. Anyways, let's talk about 
my axolotl. You guys, I'm looking at him right now. If you hear the, the water behind the camera, <laughs> um, my axolotl, I think he has problems. Um, okay, wait. Goodbye, Stella. The liquid was pee. Oh, no. Eight cats is a lot of cats. I have a tick when I stick my middle finger out. I did that, too, all the time. I feel ya. It's so annoying and embarrassing. Um, okay, anyways, my axolotl, you guys. He's right there. I was under the impression that axolotls were bottom dwellers, and they like to hide. That's what I was told. So I bought him a lot of caves and, like, places to hide. I think he has issues because he likes to float and he's very active. Right now he's swimming to the top. He just swims and he's completely fine. I checked on him. He's doing his best life, <laughs> but he's floating. He floats, not upside down. If he was upside down, I would worry. He just floats and he's just like chilling. And I'm like, are you okay? You're causing me to have heart attacks thinking you're dead every day but he moves like as soon as i come to him he'll move i don't know he's really odd and i don't know how i feel about it because he's going against everything i was told about typical axolotls so i'm like is mine broken <laughs> i don't know you guys i don't know Bunker has a bearded dragon and two horses. Oh my goodness. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that means he socially accepts you. I hope so. Because like he interacts with me all the time. He literally will come up to me and be like, um, he'll, he'll like move his hands and he'll like look at me. We'll have like stare offs. But I'm like, <laughs> it's kind of concerning. Kind of concerning. Um, hang on. He's just vibing. Yeah. Do you have any advice for teachers to make their classrooms more inclusive for students who may have Tourette's but haven't shared with their teacher? That's a really good question, Tori. Um, hmm, I would say it's hard because like I, you probably know, like I didn't tell the teachers in junior high that I had Tourette's and I didn't have accommodations. So what I would recommend is if students were asking to go to the bathroom or for a leave without an explanation. As long as you're not like the bad kid to like is going just for popularity, like to get out of the classroom. Like if, if, if a kid needs to leave, let them leave. That's like appropriate for the protocol. Because when I wasn't allowed to leave, I would physically be so uncomfortable, freaking out inside. And um, since the teachers didn't know, there really wasn't much they could do. <laughs> yeah. Um, Stinson's class, yeah. So, um, you know, like let them do their own thing to a certain extent. If you have to sit down and talk with them and say, hey, why are you leaving this much? They may feel comfortable coming to you and saying, I have tics. Even if they haven't shared it with them, they might feel comfortable sharing it with you. I would also say to an extent to let your students um, have comforting items with them. like. Maybe, I know fidget toys are very, very controversial, but ones that aren't disruptive. If you're not using it disruptively, having like a poppet or something to really help your um, hands get stimulated instead of like taking that's helpful too. But I think the most important thing is just to be cognizant and realize that you don't know what all of your students are going through. <laughs> because none of my teachers knew and I was in literal agony every day and I think it's just important to have an open mind and really pay attention to the students that don't always, aren't always in the spotlight, aren't always like the main feature of the classroom, aren't always the loudest, the quirkiest, the funniest. Talk to the kids that you think might have some like internal things. I don't know, like just be accepting of all kids, but fidget toys allow kids to leave. Like don't, prevent kids from going to the bathroom. You know how brutal that is? Like, I, I don't know if that's like a school policy, <laughs> but I don't think that's something that should be done at all. As well as I think that um, 
different different kids need different things so if say some ha some kid has to chew gum because it can help with vocal tics you know like there can be a lot a lot of things that can help people and you really just have to be open and willing to be accommodating that's the best word accommodations are important you know like not every kid is gonna be able to sit through a 60 minute to 90 minute class um since class fidget was the best, whoever's anti fidget is anti love. Yeah, it's not a school policy. Yeah, honestly, that class, like, I loved him as a teacher, Tori, but um, I was, I was in agony every class because I couldn't leave and my tics were bad. Um, I think there was a meeting about chewing gum because we weren't allowed last year. Now no one cares. That was a great response, so I appreciate it. Yeah, honestly, if I wasn't on the spot, I could probably think of more. So if you want to text me. Um, I'm a counselor. Oh, Twiggy! Hi, Twiggy. Um, I'm a counselor and a social worker at a school district, and this is why I keep up with Carly's channel. I get a ton of insight on how to handle students that might have Tourette's or similar disorders. Twiggy, I love you. Um, but yeah, so I appreciate that I have such a wide range of people that <laughs> watch and like get different things out of my channel. We have people who, um, have Tourette's, we have teachers, we have doctors, we have parents, we have friends, we have family. This is a big community where people are just welcome and I really encourage everyone to stay and get something out of it, whatever they have to. Um. <laughs> oh, Eat Your Arts, that's a teacher we had when we were in junior high. It's just an inside joke kind of thing. Sorry, I should have clarified. Um. I actually really liked him, Tori. Okay. Um, but yeah, inclusivity is so important for students with different disabilities and stuff, you know? David Bowie fan is also an amazing person working in an amazing field. No surprises there. Yes. <laughs> David Bowie is the best, of course, Twiggy. Hi, Allie. <laughs> um... But yeah, honestly, there's so much I could say about schooling and Tourette's as well as other disabilities, ADHD. Oh my Lord, you guys, there's so many things I could talk about where I think accommodations could be put into place very differently because I struggled. Holy man, did I struggle. So um, I think there should be a lot of different things in place, especially for like deadlines. That's another one. If Tori, if you're still here, deadlines, people with Tourette's might have to have extensions more often than not because our tics can prevent us from doing work like literally no cap sometimes we can't hold a freaking pencil because we'll be ticking our hands so keep in mind we might have to type our essays instead of writing our essays also we might have to be in a separate room for exams there's so many things in the Tourette's bubble regarding schooling and work accommodations in general um school was fine until third grade hello Amon. Yeah, Twiggy, I got the D Bowie reference too. I love it. David, when he died, I cried for like a week. I was in mourning. <laughs> Deadlines are terrible, dude, as long as they show they're learning. Yeah, right? Oh, you're teaching elementary. Better, yeah. Elementary, that's especially different because like a lot of the time that's when ticks will start for people with Tourette's. So um, a lot of people, another thing I want to tell you People with Tourette's can have other issues, especially related to comorbidities. So a lot of us have ADHD, OCD, depression, anxiety, the list goes on. But impulsivity is a big one. And so there might be kids that are acting out in class that might be part of Tourette's or ADHD or whatever the case may be. So just be an open mind, you know, like don't discipline kids intensely. Like kids need the... <laughs> the acceptance to grow and learn by their teacher you know teachers make all the difference realistically um gabby i work with kids and we get some parents that really shouldn't be having kids oh goodness yeah twiggy i appreciate what you're doing too alan rickman too oh my gosh yes snape i cried when he died too like i didn't know these people were sick hello rin bye bunker it was so good to see you Allie, I don't suffer with any type of trust, but I find students in the classroom, they could be 
make in the classroom they could be horrible and you hate school but if they're nice i'm motivated yeah right teachers make all the difference if you have a teacher that is understanding and supportive and fun like you know it's it's all the difference and especially teachers that are willing to accommodate because if you're not willing to listen to your student and be like if i was asking like hey teacher I need to step out of the classroom and I didn't give a valid reason that should be okay you shouldn't have to like be pestered for the reason especially if you're uncomfortable talking about the reasons such as Tourette's you know like I was very shy about talking about my diagnosis in junior high school specifically so you shouldn't have to be pestered by the teacher to get what you need like basic human decency <laughs> um, Ooh, Rachel met Alan Rickman in Toronto. That's so cool. When student teaching, I had one student with a tick and other students really liked it when she did it. They would either smile or just not comment on it. Pretty good response for third grade, I think. That's really cute. Um, especially like when you're not acknowledging it, that's a really good thing to do. Um, and I think just smiling or not commenting, they're doing great already in grade three. And as a teacher, that's something that you can do too, is really not bring attention to it because for the most part, we are embarrassed. <laughs> we are really embarrassed when we tick. So if you're not like, oh my gosh, Johnny, that was a tick in front of the class, just using Johnny as a name randomly. But you know, like, don't point it out if they're ticking. I mean, you could talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, but don't make a big scene out of it. You know, you know, um, I don't like strict people, but then I started working with younger kids and realized I'm pretty strict. Oh, your arts. Yeah. Sarah. Hey, I also have Tourette's syndrome and FND and I've struggled ever since I got diagnosed. Your videos have really helped. Thank you, Sarah. I'm sorry you have those diagnoses though. The Tourette sucks. <laughs> really sucks. Tori, no worries. I appreciate the questions. Bye, just a fox in a box. Sloth bear. Hi, Carly. Could you talk more about handling ticks at school? Because I usually get stared at or told I'm faking. So this is a struggle for me because I suppressed my ticks in school. And what I would do is I would leave every class to go to the bathroom to let out ticks. And so I really am not the epitome of what you should be doing, not the example of what you should be doing in school with ticks because I hit it and I was sad about it. But I would say what you should do is, I mean, the most important thing is to be yourself and to embrace the ticks. I know it sounds crazy, but if you're living your authentic life and rocking it and you're ticking and you're not embarrassed, like it's so hard, you guys, because I'm embarrassed. I'm 24. I hate my ticks, but I'm trying to be more in my own skin and comfortable. So you need to try and be authentic. Be yourself. I say this all the time, it's so cringy. But if you be yourself, people are gonna accept you and if they don't, they don't matter. You know, bullies will happen. I had tons of them. But you just have to keep going and know that there are people who will love you for you. People that say you're faking obviously don't know the extent of what Tourette's is. TikTok hasn't helped that with the whole kind of bad per se of Tourette's becoming a trend so I mean you know you at the end of the day if people are saying you're faking just tell them no and if they keep going on about it they don't matter because you know you at the end of the day stick in your friend group they will have your back talk to a teacher or a principal if you need accommodations there are so many things you can do to help yourself but also just know that it's hard and I'm not gonna sugarcoat it it can be hard but like, like all of us with Tourette's have been dealt a harder hand, but honestly, you can do it. I believe in you. You just have to, you know, be yourself. I wish I would have done that. If I would have been myself and ticked, I feel like I would have been way happier. So, you know, that's my advice, I guess. Um... If a student does take in class and it distracts others, do you have any advice as to how to handle the situation? I want to keep teaching and not bring attention, but sometimes the little kids would. Um, that is tough. I would say 
keep teaching until it gets to the point if he if the student progressively starts ticking more perhaps politely if you have like a teacher's aide or someone else in the class that could help you politely pull him out of the class for a minute just to get him in his own kind of safe place because most likely they're embarrassed they're kind of or they're not thinking about it either way you want him to get um, the best education he can, but he needs to have a break just for a few minutes, not even like not a discipline break at all, just a break to decompress and maybe talk with the student one on one prior and just say, Hey, you know, little Jimmy, if you're having these ticks, like, would it be helpful for me to politely let you leave the classroom and not make a big scene at all? Um, and if he says no, then I guess you just keep teaching and the other kids maybe, you know what, it's a really good thing to do have and here's the thing that the Tourette's Association of Canada does they will go to schools and if a student has Tourette's in a classroom they will bring a spokesperson in and talk about what Tourette's is to students of all ages so if you have a kid in your class with tics or Tourette's bring in these services because they will make it clear on what you should do and again Making it not a huge kind of scene is the most important thing. But if you reach out, any teachers out there, any people who need help that are in Canada or America, the Tourette's associations of both countries are so beneficial for bringing people in and talking. I know that there are volunteers all over Canada who will go to schools, do a PowerPoint presentation, teach kids at a very fundamental level, at an age appropriate level, what ticks are. So I think that's a really good advice to have, but also um, just be sure if the student is disrupting, talk to him one-on-one. -on -one. But again, if he can't leave the classroom, like if he doesn't want to, the other students, you have to kind of teach them what to do because you don't want them to be distracted, but also they need to know how to appropriately react around him. Okay. Weird question, do intrusive thoughts take our tricks? Tick sometimes. Liam, hello. Twiggy, do you think your Tourette's has made you stronger in any ways? A hundred, ten million percent. I would say I'm way more empathetic and willing to help people now. I feel like I'm stronger in the way that I can deal with so much poop and I will go forward and I will just press on because... I've been through a lot and I mean not to not to say like oh like oh woe is me it's just I have been through a lot and I know how to help people in my situation that's why I've made this channel it has made me so strong as an advocate for people who have Tourette's and tic disorders and I wouldn't have it any other way I am so grateful that I have this community of people that I can talk to and help and make them feel less alone and in that way I think I have become stronger I've also really really like amplified my public speaking which is so bizarre because you would think public speaking and Tourette's does not go together well at all but honestly talking about my experience has made me stronger and I'm able to be strong and help people through my experiences <laughs> crimson I wish I had support while I'm doing four year barely anyone understands my knees I'm so sorry Taryn what's your question um I literally love this. Thank you, Tori. I didn't know the Tourette's Association does that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure in America they do. I know for sure in Canada they do. In America, though, I'm pretty sure they have um, print-off slideshows for teachers. I know there's a whole resource section on their website where you can get resources for your students and parents. There's so many resources. People just don't know where to look. Would you be willing to interview your cousin who has Tourette's? I heard them mention, but they've never made an appearance. I'm not sure. Um, I could talk to him about it, but we're not super close. Um, well, we are, but he's he's older than me, and I don't know if he'd be comfortable on camera. But I could I could interview him and then perhaps tell you guys his answers. I don't know. Maybe you could do a video on this topic, and I can send it to every teacher I know. That would be so awesome, Tori. I could totally do that. That's such a good idea. Um, it's great, right? Carly is the most informative and the most willing to answer questions of anyone on YouTube about Tourette's. Yeah, honestly, I answer everything. Like, 
I just throw it at me. I will answer it to the best of my ability if it's about Tourette's because like that's my life. Bye Yeo Arts. What are those fluffy looking creatures on your wall? These are from a small business called Yetis and Friends. They are taxidermy Yeti heads. They're so cute. I have a lot of them. These are just two of them. Um, hello, world's biggest geek. You are a strong woman. I always look up to you. Thank you, Liam. Tori, hearts back at ya. Um, would you guys actually, um, if you're still here, Twiggy and um, Tori and whoever else works with students with Tourette's or if you are a student with Tourette's, I would love to hear some questions if you could write them down in the comments here in the live chat about what you would like me to say in a kind of one on one on one teacher handbook, student handbook for people with Tourette's, you know, like how I can help teachers, how I can help students, how I can help counselors. Like if you have any questions besides the ones you've already asked, let me know and I will create a video as like a be all end all one resource place for people that have students with Tourette's because there's so many things that can be done. That people just don't know how to do. And I want to like tell you guys like this is all you have to do. It's so easy. So let me know. Um, thank you, Tori. It looks so cute. Room tour. My room is disgusting. Um, I can show you a bit if you want. <laughs> do you have any good vids on mental tics? I do have a few. Bye, Rachel. I love you. Um, I have some videos on mental tics on my channel. You have to go way back. Um, I do have, um, it's called Mental Ticks, The Hidden Part of Tourette's. I have a video on that. Um, but, um, yeah, you'll have to go back through my channel. But I definitely do have some and I'm planning on making more. Hello, Bloop Rio. We don't care about mess. Does your cousin watch your channel? He does, yes. Um, his name is Jared. He does watch my channel. Um, but I don't know if he would ever be comfortable on here and I don't want to ever pressure him so good night neurotic guinea pig hello Tucker you're 29 and you have autism nice to meet you too Tucker um okay let me see if I can show you guys my room tour hello Lisa good to see you we're doing a room tour so um <laughs> guys this is my face so how do I give me a minute you guys just give me a second and a half these are my other yetis and friends you can see them up there i'm just gonna you guys i have a surprise for my room tour like no cap okay hang on um so this is my wall so we have my yetis we have my kind of amazon wallpaper we have this is from my friend madison all the way from the uk these are Will's and my eyeballs. My hands are so shaky, you guys. This is a tremor. Um, this is my random thing. This is from my cousin. I love it. L Life is tough, my darling, but so are you. This is my dog. My desk is a little messy. Clothing. And then my doggy. You guys, this is the surprise. Here's my pup pup. Um, in my room tour, you get to meet Daisy. I also have my amazing Oilers jersey. I have my Lego, my avocado, my octopus, my Switch, and some snacks. My too blessed to be stressed. I got all my junk up here. And then we have, where's Quoxy? Here he is, here's Quoxy. Hi Quoxy. You're not even floating. You're so good. <laughs> um. <laughs> So, um, yeah, Gabby, you, you were the OG bonsai that was horrible. Quoxy, come say hi. Oh, I scared him. Hi, buddy. Um, so we, these are my two pets. So we have my Barnadoodle and we have my Axolotl. Um, he's a goofball. But this is my puppy. Hi, Boonie. She's sleeping. She's very tired. Um. But that's kind of it. I also have, these are my cameras, my MIDI keyboard, my microphone. I do singing, um, my makeup, and then I'm a big fan of Elf and Napoleon Dynamite. We have my David Bowie. I won a speech contest multiple times. This is me as a kid <laughs> from Chuck E. Cheese, the OG. Um, 
and that's it. That's my room tour, you guys. It's a very small room. So, um, that is the tour. We are done the tour. Um, but yeah, let me set up my tripod again and get back to the, the hanging out. Bear with me, guys. I am slow at this. Okay, hang on. <laughs> back in action. Okay, hi. You guys, that's my room tour. I didn't see comments, so let's see what people said. Um, Lisa, good to see you. Another big question, is Willie going to try and migrate to Canada? I think he's going to come to Canada, but we're not sure. The Yetis are so cool that they have names. Excuse me, um, I did name them. This one was Winston, Winston. Up top, this one is Doob, and this is Mary Beth. And this one I think is, oh, I forget. They have stupid names, you guys. Me and Will have named all of them. Um, Daisy the Yeti, guys. Have you found yourself suppressing ticks less since starting the channel? Honestly, yeah. Um, <laughs> I have, and it's very liberating because I feel like this channel has helped me embrace myself so much more than I would have without it, and so I feel like I suppress less in public, which is great. The freaking bonsai, yeah, Gabby. Oh my gosh, that broke so many times. You guys, I did a live stream building the bonsai. It was gonna be the death of me, I swear. In counseling, I mainly work with seventh to 12th grade students. What would be a good way to explain Tourette's to students that don't have it without making a student with Tourette's uncomfortable? That's a really good question. Oh, hi, Brittany. Good to see you. Um, Tori, it does sound like someone's peeing. Okay, so Twiggy, question. Um, I think I might answer this in the video that I'm going to post about, um, like, the 101 teacher kind of vibe video. But I would say the best way to explain it is just that it's a neurological disorder. And make sure you clarify that it's not a mental illness. It's something that can't be caught or picked up. It's something that you're born with, basically. And it causes you, it causes the people who deal with it to make movements and sounds that are out of their control. I would also make sure to clarify that if they have any pre, kind of predisposition about it, pre-knowledge, like if they think it's a swearing disorder, debunk that myth right away. And just say, like, have you heard anything about Tourette's? Do you know? Have you heard anything? And if they mention the swearing, if they mention TikTok, debunk the myth right there. So you kind of get that out of the way. Make sure they know that not everyone with Tourette's is fake. TikTok has really made it into a big deal and it's really kind of bad. <laughs> and um, make sure they know it's not just a swearing disorder. Inform them about coprolalia. You know, um, it's important to... Um, I don't think it would make anyone with Tourette's uncomfortable just to explain the basics of what it is and just explain like ticks are involuntary movements or sounds, things you can't control. For example, ticks can be as simple as blinking your eyes or clearing your throat. It can be things you don't even notice. So that's something to bring up too. <laughs> um, hi, Brittany. Is your axolotl hard to take care of? No, he's super easy. Um, I just clean his tank every so often, feed him every second day. Um, I have to feed him live worms though, and that's kind of terrifying because I'm terrified of worms, but I do it for him because I love him, even though he's weird and floats. Um, but yeah, he's easy to take care of. Hello, Nina. You explained that very well. Thank you. Okay, great. I'll wait for the video. I don't currently know any students with trust, but there are five schools in the district. So I know the day is coming when I'll need this knowledge, definitely. And Tourette's is becoming so much more like well-known, which is kind of the good part about social media because it's a place where people are able to know about it. And people like, I like to educate and show like the truth about it on my channel, not to toot my own horn, but I think my channel is a good place to learn, but there are so many other channels that you can also learn about. I know. This trippy hippie, Evie Meg, has an amazing channel. She also has a lot of other disorders, though, which are very good to know about, too. Um, but there are so many channels where you can learn, and I think it's important to have that knowledge prior to um, having that student and not knowing what to do. So, yeah. Um, I will make that video, though. 
would you ever go to schools and talk to talk about trust to students i that is my dream that is literally my dream i've always wanted to turn ticking together into like a non-for-profit and go to schools as well as like police stations and like um therapy clinics and stuff like that and talk about it with a presentation explain what it is um <laughs> Because I think that would be amazing to have someone who lives with it, talk about it, and explain what it is. As well as someone who is somewhat well-spoken and show that you can, like, um, you can really thrive with Tourette's. I would love to go into schools and talk about it. As well as, I said, other places that need kind of insight too. I think it would be so rewarding. Um... I read Evie's book so good. I can help you get into schools if you want. Yes, Tori, I would love that. Um, you should go to schools for social work or going to disability studies. Maybe set it up, Tori. I would love that. That'd be so cool. Um, I mean, obviously, I don't. I'm not, like, super. I'm not, like, I don't have um, schooling behind my Tourette's, but I have life experience as well as I have all of the documentation about, like, what it is, so I'm not just, like, making things up um i'm on it woot woot. thank you you'd be very well at it thank you lisa don't forget to rep daps daps is awesome his video i saw um around the time i made mine his is very good um i love that he did the video reacting to ticks and roses i think that was very awesome and honestly without his video my video probably wouldn't have gotten the traction it did so i really appreciate him um because of what my kiddo has been going through with his tics, his Tourette's and ADHD, I've been trying to get more involved in the Tourette's community and get him into support groups, but he has echolalia and echopraxia. Do you think I should be extra careful with him hanging with a, bother, a, a bunch of other Tourette's kids? That's a very, very good question, Brittany, because um, I also have echolalia and echopraxia, but as you know, I am engaged to someone with Tourette's. So you might think, ooh, disaster, but um, it's not. And honestly, I think beyond the echolalia and echopraxia, it's important to find community. It's important to find people that you relate to so you're not feeling like a complete outcast. And so I think that having him in a support group would be great. Um, that's just my personal opinion. I think that having people that he relates to with tics, even though he runs the risk of picking up different tics, the benefit way outweighs the non good part of it. You know, it's it's important to meet other people like you. Um, you'd be great at speaking about trust. You have a great attitude and you're not the type to get offended if a little kid asked a question that might come across as insensitive and blunt. Yeah, honestly, I know little kids ask the funniest questions and I wouldn't get offended. I would just talk to them about it in the best age appropriate way. Um, Knowing the history of disabilities is good if you were able to speak about it because one person's experience is just that one person's experience, definitely. Love the advice, thanks. I wish there were tourist camps or meetups events available in Canada. There are so many in other countries, but Canada doesn't have a lot of resources. So, I mean, I would love it, but um, America has all of the important stuff. So hopefully Canada gets on that eventually because I think it'd be really beneficial to have more support for like Tourette's camps. I know the Association of Canada does do like online support groups and different stuff like that. So they do have stuff. It's just not publicly known about really because it's not very, it's not marketed super well. Um, but I think they're going to change that. And I'm excited because I think people could really benefit from it. And I know there's different kinds of um, areas around Canada that help with Tourette's and it's just um, it's just knowing where to find the resources, honestly. But again, I don't think there's camps in Canada. I could be wrong, but I don't think there are. <laughs> um, I would like to go around and speak about mental health issues to help young women especially. That'd be awesome, Lisa. I think you'd be really good at it. Because I know you comment a lot about your struggles. And I think that um, it'd be really... I think talking and having people share their experiences is so like important and valuable. I liked the video of you and your parents. Will they make an appearance again? I've been begging my mom to come back on, but she doesn't really want to. She's so camera shy. Um, but I'll ask her again. If you if you guys really want her, let me know. And 
maybe I'll show her the comments telling her to come back on because I want her in videos. I want to ask her about like more about my diagnosis and stuff because she lived it with me and um, she's just camera shy. So tell her she's a star. We want to see her. You sharing your experiences is what is valuable. Thank you, Nina. Fingers crossed, San. I know coprolalia is fairly rare in Tourette's and I know you occasionally have coprolalia, but has your echolalia ever become coprolalia? That does make sense. And it has. Um, so, um, it's hard to explain because there's so many different like subtleties with ticks, but, um, I know a lot of people, there's, um, there's a big TikToker named Balin Dupree and she has the F word. F men is the tick. The F word and then men after that. It had become a mental tick, but it has also become a vocal tick through echolalia, which has turned into coprolalia, which it's so random, but it does happen. Um, but my coprolalia ticks are very rare. <laughs> um, and I try and suppress them to the best of my ability because I just don't, I don't usually swear anyway. I was making a video, you guys might have seen it, my last upload is Am I the Asshole video on Reddit, and I even struggle saying that. I don't swear a lot, so I was kind of like, oh gosh, like, am I the a-hole? Like, it's embarrassing, so yeah. Um, um, do you think your family completely understands what you go through with your Tourette's? Not at all. Definitely not. And I'm not saying that to be rude, it's just, Unless you've lived it, <laughs> you won't know what it's like to live with Tourette's. I think they definitely have an understanding and they kind of know like how I deal with it, but no one will ever know the feeling of a tick and having to suppress a tick and the humiliation and embarrassment you get in public places when you're ticking when you're not supposed to. There's so many things that people without trust just will never understand. A lot of the time too, they will tell me like, hey, can you, can you stop that? Even though they know they're not supposed to say that, it's just something they do because my tics can be annoying and I understand completely. So there's a lot of things that <laughs> they don't completely understand, but it's just because they don't have Tourette's. And like I said, if you don't have it, you're not gonna understand. Um, only 19 people, yeah, there's 19 people here, but thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you all. My question is, when were you first diagnosed? I was diagnosed when I was 12, and I am now 24. <laughs> Does your family support you with your Tourette syndrome? They do. Um, they support me because, like, they have to. I'm their daughter. I mean, they don't have to, but they do. They support me to the best of their ability, and I really appreciate them. As I said, I got rice. As I said, sometimes they will be like, hey, can you stop that? That's annoying. Sometimes they will imitate me as a joke and it bugs me. But that's just how they react to it and it's okay. They support me. Hey, I found some rice. Thanks, Lisa. Have your chicks ever annoyed your partner or vice versa? Um, so my partner, Will, also has Tourette's. So we don't annoy each other because we both get it so much. Like we're both like okay, I get it. Like you, you're doing that. You can't help it. Um, but my parent, my, my ticks do annoy, um, other people. They annoy my parents <laughs> and I'll willingly admit that. I'll freely admit my ticks annoy my parents. They annoy some of my other family members, friends. They're annoying. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Ticks are freaking annoying to deal with. You don't want to hear someone saying huh, in your face all day or like I got rice, you know, like, it's not pleasant and it is annoying and it does annoy people. But as for my partner, um, never annoys me. And he, I don't think I annoy him specifically with ticks. I might annoy him in other ways because I am a lot. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I think it's, um, it depends on the person, but I do annoy a lot of people. Not going to lie. Um, it's the same with anxiety. People that don't have it tend to brush it off a hundred percent. Does your sibling have Tourette's? He doesn't. My brother is younger than me and he doesn't have Tourette's syndrome. So very interesting. <laughs> but we love your tics, thank you. My son has such a hard time figuring out when he develops a new tick. The new tick has to be around for a while before he recognizes it as a tick. That makes me wonder, do your premonitory urges feel different for each tick? 
That is a really interesting question. I appreciate that. Um, I think, honestly, thinking about it, they do feel different. Um, so, um, when I have back ticks, I get, like, almost, like, it feels like there's ants crawling up and down my spine to the point where I have to, like, thrust my shoulder blades together. Um, but when I have a vocal tick premonitory urge, I will get, like, a bubbling almost in my throat. When I have wrist ticks, it feels like pins and needles. And when I have neck ticks, it feels like there's hair on my neck that I have to get off and I'll do this. Um, all of the, all of the um, premonitory urges have one thing in common though, which is they are just, they're uncomfortable, they're uncomfortable. And you'll recognize this feels uncomfortable beforehand. That typically tells you this is gonna be a tick. And if it sticks, if it doesn't stick, regardless, you can have one off ticks. Regardless of what happens, you can tell typically by the discomfort you feel before you tick. But again, it does feel different in most places around my body. So, yeah. Thank you, Liam. What are the chances of me and Willie's kid having Tourette's? I don't know. Probably high because Tourette's does have a genetic component. Um, and we both have Tourette's. So I would say it's a very high chance. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm not a geneticist. My brother knows a lot about genetics. I should ask him. I'm curious if having the premonitory urge thing comes with conditions where the ticks are the only symptom of an unrelated condition, like as an anxiety ticks. I'm not sure. Um, I think I know that from what I've read with FND, functional neurological disorder, you don't have a lot of um, premonitory urges. It's more, more involuntary, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I know there's different symptoms for different disorders. Um, do you have a tick that's harder to suppress than the others? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, anything to do with my back and my neck, um, like this one, or when I say, huh, that one is so hard to control. I get this build up like a fluttering in my chest almost where I have to go huh, and let out that huh, um, huh, and I'm triggering myself. Um, but I think those ones, anything to do with punching, a lot of them are really hard to control. But most of the vocal ticks are easier to control than the motor ticks, in my opinion. Um, totally not a demon. Good to see you. Hello, Sage Knight. Um, dopamine can cause ticks that are not related to dress. Does weed help? I've actually never tried it, and I don't know. I think it helps for some people, but I've never tried it. <laughs> um... You guys are so great. I love all of these questions you're asking. It's really keeping me on my toes. Um, I appreciate answering to the best of my ability. Um, I honestly love you guys so much. This is such a wonderful, friendly, a wonderful community. Wonderful community. Um, what about CBD? I tried CBD for about two months and it did nothing. So I just stopped. So I was like, I don't want this. I don't need it. Um, I know it helps some people, but for me, it really didn't do anything. I am on a lot of medication already, um, which has helped miraculously, but also it's caused a lot of horrible side effects and there's really no good treatment for Tourette's or ticks, unfortunately. Um, yeah. But that's that, you guys. I feel like you guys are asking such great questions. I... Honestly, this community, as I said, you guys, I love that it's a smaller community, so I actually can read every single one of your comments. I truly try to interact with all of you and, you know, make you all feel welcome and noticed because that's important, you know? Um, it's important to have people um, who you can make feel welcome. I love making you guys feel like you're a part of this community, and I try and read every single comment as I said so I love you guys thank you for being here for me and I hope I can be here for you just as much okay I'm a biochemist I'm surprised CBD doesn't help really yeah it didn't help me at all um that's interesting maybe I had the wrong strain I honestly don't know I talked to the people at the place but they were just like I don't know so I could try it again but honestly I don't know um same here. I'm on quite a few meds, but CBD helps with anxiety. Cool. I'm not to encourage CBD necessarily, but for it to kick in stronger, it takes some kind of fat toasted butter on a sweeter peanut butter. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. 
Thank you, Nina. We're here for you. Um, I might have to try it again, but honestly, like, it didn't do anything. So I don't know if, I don't know if I'd want to try it again. Like, it, it just didn't, <laughs> it didn't do anything. So I don't know. Um, my dad had an uncle that had what I now know to be ticks. He did the huh thing as well and would kind of hoot like an owl. Interesting. I've never met anyone who has the huh tick. It's so weird. I, it started as an ugh and it went to a huh. They very much transformed. <laughs> um, I don't have Tourette's, but I do find that CBD helps with a ton of anxiety and ADHD. That's awesome. One thing that's weird is sometimes the level in which I suppress certain ticks changes. Definitely, I experience that as well. Sometimes I can suppress certain ticks, other times I can't. I recommend asking your doctor for a referral for CBD. They will send you to a specialist and get you the good stuff. Okay. TS is neurological, so it makes sense that it didn't work. Okay. You have to take a lot of CBD every single day. Yeah, I honestly, I don't, I'm already on so much garbage that I don't want to put anything else in my body. Brittany, love chatting with you about Tourette's. I love chatting with you too. My kiddo has been diagnosed since about four, but it's become more of a challenge with treating and managing Tourette's and ADHD together. So your videos are super informative. Thank you. I know that we talked about him having um, both Tourette's and ADHD. They're like the most chaotic duo and can't be treated together. So I feel for your son and I feel for you, but I appreciate you coming on my lives and being able to talk to you and hopefully have you give you some kind of advice for your son. Hello, Izzy. This is my first time popping into one of your streams and I just want to see your videos help me a lot and make me feel better. I'm a fellow person with trust and your videos make me feel less alone. Thank you so much, Izzy. It's really great to see you here. Um, I wish there was a way I could see in real time the signals being sent out from my brain so the different parts of my body went ticking. I know. I wish that was a thing. Do certain words or sounds trigger ticks while you're singing, like vocal arms or anything? Um, that's very interesting. Um, so for me, when I sing, my ticks, for the most part, go away. I'm very much in the zone. I don't tick. When I play guitar, I don't tick. Um, when I'm very focused, I don't tick. But certain sounds um, do trigger ticks. But not when I'm, when I'm singing, it's very different. And I feel like a different part of my brain is activated. If I could sing all the time every day, I would because I wouldn't be ticking. So, um, yeah. CBD is very good even if you have Tourette's. Interesting. Hey, Riley. At some point, could you react to Trum Trum? I don't know what that is. It is, Riley. You hit 63,000 on TikTok. That's amazing. Good job. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. That's awesome. Congratulations. Um, that you don't take when you play music is not surprising. Yeah, it's very, it's such a nice release to be able to play music and not take. Um, it is, Riley. 63,000. I'm so proud of you. Please watch it. Holy heck, it's ridiculous. Troom Troom. What is Troom Troom? Hi, Sam. Um, it's like another world. It definitely is. It feels like I'm in a different reality. Um, it's a hack channel. It's a fever dream. It's a ridiculous kids channel. Okay. I don't know. I'll check it out. <laughs> um, OMG, I tick all the time when listening to music. When I'm listening to music, I do tick too. It's when I'm making music that I don't. Might upload tomorrow on YouTube though. Riley, that'd be awesome. I miss your videos. I miss your content. It's like five minute crafts. Oh my gosh, five minute crafts is insane. So I feel like this would be pretty bad too if it's anything like that. Sometimes my dog will lightly grunt. It'll trigger my ticks and I feel bad because it's something I'm barking at him. I literally bark at my dog. So I feel you. I feel you a hundred percent. Katarina, heart back at you. Hi, baby girl. You okay, Navi? Daisy woke up. You okay, baby girl? <laughs> She's yawning. She's so cute. Um, do you have any favorite ticks? Like ones you sort of prefer slash are more okay with than others? I like my I got rice tick. I haven't done it much in this live stream. It's kind of been on the wayside. Um, but I got rice. 
when I say I got rice. Um, I've actually made merch that has a little rice bowl that says I got rice on it. Um, it's one of my favorites just because it's so dumb. Like, I don't even know, I got rice. I don't even know where it came from, but I like it because it's stupid. And I also like my vocal tick when I say friendly. Um, it started when I had to say the F word, but I changed it to friendly and friendly stuck. Um, I don't know. I like those two because they're just so like dumb. Um, I got rice is the best thing ever. Thank you. Um, oh, I saw love the merch. Thank you, Tori. Okay, you guys, I gotta let my dog out of my room. Give me one second. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, baby. Okay. Okay, baby. Okay, here I am. I'm back. Back in action. Except I have to sit comfortably or else I'm going to cry. Um. <laughs> um. Um, you got it because you got rice. Ha ha ha. I have a tick where I gasp and say, what? Looking at videos of my kiddo after school versus when he's playing baseball is like watching <laughs> two different people. He barely ticks well on the field. Yeah, when you're doing a special interest or something you love, you often don't tick. It's very interesting. I noticed you don't have rice as much as usual in this live stream. I know. It's weird. Very weird. I hate it when I got this biscuit tick and a Bosco tick. Oh, goodness. Pigeon, hi. Good to see you. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, but my rice tick is kind of been gone. Like, not gone, but it's lessened. I'm not always saying I got rice. Like, I got rice. <laughs> my hot tick is the most prominent one right now. Um... Um, it's been a while since I've been in a live with you. No worries that you're late. Good to see you. Have you ever done any singing for a program or professionally? Um, I have, um, I got race. I have done singing, um, in like shows and stuff, but nothing like super professionally. OMG, my friend has a tick where they say tea and crumpets in a British accent. Oh my gosh, don't even get me started. A year ago, I had one for about a solid month. It was butter the crumpets. Like, butter the crumpets. Butter the crumpets. Like that. <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> Please, Carly. Um, but it was that. And even my coworkers knew they'd be like, Carly, you're buttering those crumpets today? Like, oh my lord. <laughs> Crystal, good to see you. You guys, Crystal with a K in the chat. Um, she has a channel where she also talks about her Tourette's. I've shouted her out on my community tab. If you haven't checked her out, go click her channel. I love her channel. Um, she has great content. So I want her to get more of a following. So go subscribe to her. Um, I used to have a British accent and my takes for about four months. Now it's gone. Yeah, definitely. I got rice. Has Ticks and Roses made any new content? I don't think so. Hello, that girl, Gracie. Can an old tick go away? I got rice. It's coming back. <laughs> Can an old tick go away and then reemerge three years later? Yes. Um, my barking tick, for example, the one where I go ah, like that in the hot, ah, like that. Um, that was my f one of my first vocal ticks and it went away for a solid five years and came back with a vengeance recently. Um, so they can go back and come back and it's almost like when you come, when they come back, you're like, oh, I forgot about you. Like, where have you been? Like Will and I always joke when one comes back, we're like, how was college? Like you're back, you're doing great. You look so different. Like we always joke about it. Like how it's just like an old friend that's come back and you're like, where have you been? I had a tick where I would tick the song stand and I'm like, they would try and feel, oh goodness, that sounds funny. Um, yeah, I have a come on Eileen tick. Come on Eileen. Um, but yeah. None of my old ticks really stuck with me, but it can come back sometimes. It's all random. Do you still have the stormy tick? I do. Um, I got rice. I'm not going to try and trigger myself. I do have it every so often. It's not as common, but it, it's still here. Like, it's still in my tick repertoire, you could say. Um, hmm, it's so interesting how they can come back years later. It is so weird. Like, honestly, oh my gosh, I can't even begin to explain. Like, I... For the longest time when I was about 
14, I had a tick where I said comment ça va or comment ça va too in French. And it came back a few years ago. And I'm like, where have you been? I forgot about you, you know? It's funny. How have you, do you have TikTok? I do have TikTok, it's ticking together. Um, how have you been lately? I've been okay. Uh, yeah, I've been okay. Not much to report, same old, same old. <laughs> I filmed two videos tonight that I'm hoping to edit soon and get up. Um, I'm also gonna film some more. If you guys have any content suggestions, please let me know. I'm always open to making new content for you guys with different kind of ideas. Um, so let me know if you have any kind of things you want to see from me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah. My son had one for a while where he would yell chicken biscuit and he was a bit younger and one of his first complex vocal tics. So he was so confused because he didn't even like chicken biscuits. Oh my goodness, that's so silly. Yeah, I feel that. Tics can be so random. Um... Are you going to see Will at Christmas? I don't think so. Um, I don't know the next time I'll see him. Hopefully, maybe a little bit after Christmas. Um, but I'm excited to see him again. It's been... It's been a while. I mean, it hasn't been a while, but it feels like it's been a while. Um, one reason I can't fake clean myself is because there's no way I would remember hundreds of random pics that will come back. Yeah, totally. Like, honestly, I feel yeah. Like, it's... How would my brain remember all of these things? We need to collab again. We do, Riley. Uh, message me on Facebook. We can sort that out. I would love to collab with you again. It's been too long. That video we did did really well together. Um, it was really fun, so we should do it again. My sister was upset I was making this content because I was never diagnosed. You think Tourette's is generally self-diagnosable. I've had tics all my life and never was taken to the doctor by my mom. Um, I think that for some extent... Um, you would know kind of, um, I think it's different. Um, <laughs> Self-diagnosis is a tricky situation because you don't always know it could be something else. It could be another type of tick disorder. Um, so if you're not completely diagnosed, you could just say, I have ticks, I have a tick disorder. But if you feel like you resonate with Tourette's and you do have all of the symptoms and you just were never taken to a doctor, I don't think it's a problem saying that you have it. Um, but I would definitely recommend talking to a doctor about it just to kind of get that validation if you want it. You know, it's up to you. I watched your guys' entire collab video, loved it. Thank you. So excited for more. Ticks can be caused by many things, definitely. There's a lot of things that can cause ticks. So um, I don't wanna say you don't have Tourette's, but don't be quick to assume that that's all it could be. Um, just because there's other options, but it could be Tourette's, you know, there's. There's a lot of things it could be, so yeah. I have tardive dyskinesia. It's a dopamine deficiency, not Tourette's. Yes, um, one of my medications actually has a side effect of tardive dyskinesia, so hopefully I don't get that, but that is very real and very scary. Have you ever played Brawlhalla? I haven't. Um, battle game, sounds interesting. SSRIs will cause it, yeah. Um, I'm on that, but also my, um, my antipsychotic, um, called flufenazine has a very high chance of developing, um, part of dyskinesia and I've been on it for like 12 years. So my doctor wants to get me off that as soon as possible. Have I ever played Cozy Grove? I haven't. What is it like? Is it fun? <laughs> Honestly, you guys, I don't play a lot of games, but... I'm open to suggestions. Atypical antipsychotics also cause it. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one I'm on, guys. I'm on an atypical one. Um, so, yeah, I I'm on a lot of medication for my Tourette's, and it's definitely challenging. I don't enjoy it, but that's that's that. Um, but yeah, you're a cute little character who helps ghost bears recover their memories while taking care of an island. <gasps> That sounds so fun. It's on Nintendo Switch? I wanna look at it. I wanna buy it because I like little bears. Hi, I hope people haven't given you problems in the online YouTube community. People kinda have, like people have been fake claiming me, 
calling me really mean things, commenting on my appearance, like mean, mean, mean. The other night I cried for like a solid two hours because of some comments I received. So people can be rude. Um, thank you. Is trust the only condition where you can have complex vocal tics? I don't think so. Um, honestly, I think there's probably others. I'm not a doctor. I don't really know, but yeah, ignore them. F them. Yeah. Honestly, you guys, I'm going to, I love you guys. So I'm going to tell you guys this. Um, <laughs> you know how I made a South Park reaction video to the episode of Tourette's the other day and I was having a horrible day, horrible day. And like, the day was already awful and I received so many hate comments that one day. And one of them on that video was, oh my gosh, you're fatter than Cartman. I cried for like 10 hours. Like I was so saddened by that comment. That one just was like the straw that broke the camel's back. I was like, okay, I've had enough of the fakes. I've had enough of you're ugly. I've had enough of uh, you're lying. Like you're the next Tix and Roses. I've had enough of that, but you're fatter than Cartman killed me. I was so mad and I cried and I texted Will and I was like, you guys help. And I got so much backlash on that video. People were hating on me hardcore, like literally. <laughs> South Park super fans were hating on me. And I was like, uh, I did not intend for that to happen at all. It was so eye-opening to see people stick up for a show and hate on a human. Like, oh my gosh. Um, that's not who you are, that's who they are. Hi. Oh no, I heard you got a backlash on that video. I totally did get a lot of backlash on that video. Imagine having such an empty life that you compare their body to a cartoon, right? It's such a cheap joke. I was so sad because also Cartman is a circle. Like, I know my face is round, but I don't think, like, ugh, it was such a mean comment. And I have so many comments that are just, like, it's the ones that aren't dedicated to Tourette's that hurt me. Like, the ones where people are like, why are you talking to your dog? Like, you're so immature. Or like, oh my gosh, do you take up going to the gym? Like, you really need to lose weight. Or like, stuff that they just, like, jab at you with things that are, like, uh, bugs me you guys I had a comment on one um you guys are getting into the tea I had a comment on my tiktok it was a video of me and Will when we met in California we had a good time um it was a video of us at the beach and we were like in our in our clothing like it wasn't like bathing suits or anything but someone commented saying oh my gosh how disgusting for a fat person to be dating a thin person like disgusting and I was like excuse you I cried for like 10 hours <laughs> um give me their ads I just want to talk with my fist <laughs> he's a literal circle yeah I know that felt terrible yeah kiddo just started not typical to manage his tics so we started him on red so keeping him out for so far so good good I'm glad literally everyone talks to their dog I know the one comment that the person was saying where you were posting your tics for attention got me mad. I get comments about that all the time. That like, you're posting just for attention. I get comments saying, you are not ticking enough to have Tourette's or on the other hand, you're ticking too much to have Tourette's. Like, is there no, is there no solid ground, you guys? I get hate for everything. Bye, Ollie. Um, what kind of, yeah. Carly, you were so beautiful, thank you. It's so weird, you think fans of a show that are supposed to be satire are not taking yourself seriously wouldn't have such an insane fan. It's, I know, they were so mad. They were so mad. And I'm like, you guys, I'm reacting to a literal cartoon. And you're saying I look like a circle, basically. Like, it's so dumb. Like, why do people like, like, I didn't realize there was such a hardcore fan base of South Park that would attack a person if they didn't like it. And they were saying like, um, you're just too stupid to understand satire. And I'm like, no, I just think it's rude. Like, ugh. Um, can you make a song out of the hate comments, Lovey? That would be a fun time, but also very traumatic. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I can't. It sounds like they're just jealous you're in a relationship. They can't fathom someone or attracted to personality. That's ironic. I just posted about my dog and the next comment was someone named Ollie. My dog's name is Oliver. We call him Ollie. Cute. I'm a South Park fan, but don't want to be associated with this. Yeah, right? It was just that one episode. I put down one 
episode. <laughs> like, because, and I did say they did a lot of things correct, but I was also like, hmm, this is not, it's rubbing me the wrong way a little bit. And because I reacted to one episode, people were hating on me and they still are. I'm still getting hate comments. Um, Trey Parker and Matt Stone would never support the hate against you, right? It's just like, honestly, you guys, if you haven't seen it, you should go to my South Park reaction video, go to the comment section and read it. Like, it is so mean. There are so many people that are just like calling me these horrible names, calling me stupid, because telling me I look fatter than Cartman, like, I'm like, I just was trying to get awareness out there. I got so much hate for nothing. Where did you get the posters behind? I got these on Amazon. They're just, I Googled wall collage and I made a wall collage, so yeah. <laughs> it's disgusting, yeah. I have Tourette's, but I mainly have motor tics. Um, so people think I roll my eyes at them sadly. Oh my gosh, I have eye rolling tics too and I feel ya. Um, the tapestry behind is the hand of Fatima. Cool. It's your opinion, you don't have to effing like it. They act like you insulted their mothers, right? I did put one of my kids' coaches in line before he told a teammate that he had Tourette's and his coach rolled his eyes and said, you do not, you don't even know what Tourette's is. Oh my gosh. As a South Park fan, there are definitely episodes I don't like, right? You guys. Oh no, what have I walked in on? Emmy Lightning. Hello, Emmy Lightning. Um, you've walked in on us talking about haters because I have my fair share. I have my fair share of haters. And there are a lot of them are on the South Park video. And they're just fans of South Park that hate me now. Um, so cute. Haters aren't relevant. Anyone that doesn't love you for you is not relevant. Thank you, Twiggy. Um, yeah, it's just, it's goofy. It's goofy. That's how you know you've made it. When I have so much hate that I cry. I cry because I'm like, honestly, the comments saying that I'm fake don't even bug me anymore because I know I'm not. But when I hear comments about my like appearance or like my intelligence, those are what get me. And I know people are probably gonna like come on this video and be like, this is how we get to her. You know, don't be that person. Um, but if you say I'm fake, I'm like, okay. And you know, like, <laughs> um, we're gonna check Norse Ronda's round kick them haters. I have a chick very pretty like a cat. Interesting pigeon. Randa, but you have very nice teeth. Thank you. Um, but you're beautiful. Thank you. I'll cry with you, babe. And brilliant, right? I would put a ring on that. Thank you. Girl, I just had a meeting for academic accommodations. This girl didn't have a clue what Tourette's was and she kept saying, okay, so how often is the tick? Oh my gosh, I am so sorry, Jersey. <laughs> That's embarrassing. And they don't even know you. They just want to hurt your feelings, right? I'm like, why? And I can't understand why people leave hate comments. Listen, I talked to my therapist about that SP episode, LOL. I was so bothered by it just because my kiddo has often been the butt of Tourette's jokes, right? I am always the butt of jokes. I'm the brunt of jokes. People make fun of Tourette's all the time and I take offense to it. And I'm like, you guys, it's not a joke. So I made a video on it. And I got so much hate, so backfired. But you guys have my back. You guys have my back. What kills me is the fake claimers that have no idea what they're talking about and actively spread misinformation. Twiggy, I think it was you I was talking to. Who was it I was talking to? Someone commented, you guys, someone commented saying that I cannot have Tourette's because I don't have seizures. When seizures are not even a part of Tourette's at all. Like, <laughs> It's not a part of Tourette's. And so because of the misinformation that has been spread online by fake claimers, they're like, oh, she doesn't have seizures. That's a fake. I'm like, unfortunately, you don't know the truth. Like, do you need some, I can teach you, but like, I don't know. As a gay, I can confirm you were beautiful. Thank you, Emmy Lightning. <laughs> Um, I wish it wasn't seen in the media saying funny things all the time, right? Sierra Ann is such a good channel for body positivity. Cool, I should check that out. Hello, Bee Purple. What in the world? Yeah, right? 
The worst part is I was trying my best to explain and then I had <laughs> everything I said she would answer with okay. I'm going to hear that from a medical professional. Oh my gosh. Bubbles. Also, I just wanted to say hi and love your channel. Subscribed a couple weeks ago. Thank you. You've taught me a lot about trust and I love learning more. Stay beautiful, girly. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Bubbles. I appreciate you. Um, are there any shows, movies, media that you know that, that depict Tourette's accurately? Front of the Class. It's a movie about Brad Cohen. He is a teacher in America. I think he's a second grade teacher who has Tourette's. Best movie about Tourette's because he has it. Um, and I would recommend it a million times because it accurately depicts it and showcases the struggles, but it also showcases a teacher who has it and how his students react to him. Oh, it's such a good story and it's a true story. Um, that's crazy people. <laughs> Call people fake for the strangest reasons, yes. I remember that guy, he thought he was so smart, right? I literally have a master's degree in psychology and he knew better than I do. Twiggy, I know, I know. Um, um, so yeah, uh, your threat's too dramatic or it's not dramatic enough. Always the most uneducated people talking about what it should look like, right? With the OF question. Oh goodness. Yeah, let's not, let's not talk about that. Um, what do you think is a dead giveaway to someone faking their tics? Honestly, I don't think there is a dead giveaway. Like a lot of people, everyone experiences tics completely differently. So I don't think there's a dead giveaway, you know? I think that <laughs> um, everyone presents differently. And I don't, like I said, like tics and roses for me was obvious because of their reaction but people do laugh at their tics and do make it fun of it. So, you know, I don't think there is a dead giveaway. I think it just, for the most part, you should believe people unless they're like those Udi kids. Oh, sweet. I'll have to check that one out. Friend of the class is on Pluto TV. It's free to watch. It's so good. Honestly, such a good show. Um, do you ever get looks when you get tics? Yes, I get looks when I tic. They're like, what is she doing? Your walls are decorated so nicely, OMG, thank you. I would explain to her what Tourette's is because she didn't know, but then invalidated everything I said when I literally provided documentation from my neurologist. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yes, Crystal is here. Um, she's awesome. I love her vibe too, um, Emmy Lightning. Honestly, I found her channel like last week and I've been binging. I know she doesn't have a lot of content yet, but the content she has is quality. So check out Crystal with a K, you guys. She gave me the nicest shout out in her last video. I cried. I was like, I watched it last night at like 3 a.m. And I was like, you're so sweet. Like, thank you. Um, but yes, us tickers have to stick together. So Ticking Together is my channel name. Taking Together. Together. Bye, Pigeon. Love you. Y'all making me blush. <laughs> I blushed last night. Who is Crystal? My bad, I don't know. In the comments, um, in the chat, you'll see Crystal with a K, the channel. Um, I promoted her content on my community tab. She's just a YouTuber I found who also has tics and Tourette's. Um, and she's awesome. I would recommend checking out her channel if you want another really cool Tourette's content creator. Um, <laughs> do you ever know when a serious case of tics is coming on? Like whenever it's gonna be a bad day or your tics get triggered in some way. Um, yeah. Oftentimes I'll start with a lot of intense back ticks. Like my back will just go crazy and then I'll have a tick attack. So yeah. Um, what inspired you to make the channel? Funny story. I made this channel when I was like 14. Um, you can go all the way back to my first video. I think it was posted when I was 16 maybe. Um, I started a channel because I was so alone and I felt very depressed in my diagnosis and I was like I just want to help people so I gathered a group of six other girls who had Tourette's and we compiled a video a montage of our stories compiled that posted it in 2014 maybe um then I gave up and I was like it's not for me because I just didn't feel like it but then I thought I was the one that created the channel so I was like um I was like, I can revamp this because none of the other girls wanted to do it anymore. So I was like, I kind of want to spread awareness because I was 20 when I started it again. 
and I was like, I really want people to know about this because I was fed up of not talking about it. Honestly, no one in my life, my friends, no one knew about it. I would hide it around everyone, suppress every day. Only my family knew and they knew what a struggle it was. I went into severe depression and I was like, I need an outlet. And so I posted back in 2020 maybe. No, that was, no, I don't know. I posted in 2021, a while ago I posted and I revamped it. And I started just posting weekly and eventually it really took off and I have now like 30,000 subscribers and I'm really grateful and it has become such a blessing to have this channel. It was funny because at first my family didn't know about this channel. I hid it from them because I didn't want them to know I was actively talking about my Tourette's online because I was embarrassed. But then I told them they were so supportive and it's been history ever since. I love it so much. I love my channel. It is my favorite part of my day. Honestly, when I post, when I film content, I feel like I'm myself authentically and it's such a relief. Um, <laughs> I have told people a lot of vocal tics just sound unnatural to me, right? I can't believe I'm actually catching you on live. I have so many questions. Thank you, Creep on Gaming. Um, if you ever want to ask questions, please let me know. Um, do you tickle your sleep? I don't tickle my sleep. So, um, people with Tourette's often don't tickle in their sleep, and if you do tickle in your sleep, it's often a sign of a different disorder such as epilepsy. Um, but ticks usually don't happen in your sleep because your brain activity is off. Um. I wish I could make a channel or account about my charts, but I don't know how much I want to focus on my life, right? So, like, my channel is basically about Tourette's, and I don't really post about my life, but people have commented saying they'd like to see more. So, I don't know. I honestly don't know where to draw that line. Um, you're inspiring a whole community out here. It's wonderful. Thank you, Emmy Lightning. Um, when you make the video for educators, can you please list some things you wish your teachers would have known? That's a really good idea and I definitely might make a separate video on that. I might make a few videos and have a playlist of like teacher resources. I think that'd be really helpful actually. We love you girl, thank you. Okay, that response just made me tear up. <laughs> what was your worst stage in life? Um, with my tics or with, so when I was, when I was 16, I was so depressed because of my Tourette's that that was probably my worst stage. I was very, not happy um very like clinically diagnosed with depression it was horrible um but i'm doing better i'm so happy you created this amazing little corner of the internet so happy to see you so happy and bubbly thank you i'm really happy i created this too um i mean it's still kind of a small little channel but i am um, I love the community. I love this small tight knit group we have. I see familiar faces on my lives every single time and I'm like, hi guys, I love you. And <laughs> it's just wonderful. I love all of you. With tardive dyskinesia, I take in my sleep. It's different. It is different, yes. So different disorders can you, you can take in your sleep, but with me, I don't. Um, Unless, okay, if I'm having a really light sleep, like if I'm not in my deep sleep, sometimes I wake myself up ticking um, <laughs> I have, I got rice. Friendly. I have a, a butt tick where I'll tense my butt together. That wakes me up a lot. Um, so yeah, 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 yeah. It's a doozy and a half. Um, you guys, if I forget, um, I won't forget, but, um, if you would like to and help me out, leave a comment after this live is over with questions about um, whatever you'd like me to answer in a video about perhaps teaching or school or resources, let me know, okay? Because I really want to get on that. Um, this is my second ticking together live. I'm so happy to see you back here, Zan. Okay, that is the cutest thing ever. Honestly, the fact you're able to read almost every comment is definitely an overlooked positive of a smaller YouTube community is 100%. Like, I... I love being able to sit like I have my computer here so I have my chat bar open so I'm reading every single thing and I'm making sure no one's missed and if you are I feel bad because I don't intend on missing you um I try and read every single comment because I want to make you guys feel valid and welcome here it's not just me it's all of us we're all part of this community together 
and I love being able to read everyone's comment. I love being the size I am right now on YouTube is wonderful. I like 27 of you guys here where like it's an intimate chat. I love it. Um, hello, Misty. Good to see you. Emmy Lightning True. Can severe anxiety make ticks worse? Definitely. When I'm having an anxious day, if I'm stressed, if I'm overloaded with work, my ticks will become a lot more severe. And I think it's just because um, it's something that I get so stressed that I just tick. It's just how my body works. Um, we want to make you feel bad and uncomfortable too. Thank you, Nina. See, this is why I reached out. I always love that you're so welcoming and nice. Gabby, thank you. I love you. My kiddo's stress gets worse on high anxiety days. Definitely. It's so refreshing. This is keeping me company while I'm alone putting away my clothes. Thank you so much. Mia, nice to see you. Thanks for being here. Oh, I missed that. What clothing do you feel most confident in? Um, I really like leggings and jeans. I don't care. I really don't care. But I also just like baggy sweaters. I like to, like, this is, this is like my ultimate vibe. What I'm wearing right now, I have ripped jeans and a sweater with a hood. You guys, watch this. <laughs> this is my vibe this is literally my vibe i should keep this on it'll be funny um <laughs> um sorry to be leaving however i'm just so tired bye lisa thank you for being here i'm so sorry you had a bad dream i love you so much thank you for being here i hope to see you next time i look forward to reading all your comments um, that makes sense. I love your channel. I randomly found you a while ago. Thank you to get my rice bag. Yeah. Oh my, I got rice in a bag. Bag. Um, not Tourette's related, but I'm just wondering if you ever watched Lena Spooky Boo. I do. She's hilarious. Um, she's Canadian. I didn't know that. I've seen her on TikTok. I love her. Um, I tick a lot when I'm restless or understimulated. ADHD and Tourette's definitely go hand in hand. A hundred percent. Um, all your hoodie vibe is adorable. Thank you. Yeah, I like rain music. Definitely. My ticks. <laughs> Grace. My ticks are the worst when I'm either stressed or when I'm supposed to be quiet. Thankfully, few verbal ticks with the physicals are so annoying. Do you have trouble going to movies and sitting through them? <laughs> yes. Um, I do manage to do it, but it's not fun. And I'm very distracted and I can't always enjoy the movie. So, yeah. Um, sleep well, Lisa. Yes, have a good sleep. We love you. Um, yeah. Misty, same. Especially when I'm in school, and it, which is bad because it's where I suppress the most. I suppress at school all the time, too, when I was in school, you guys. Oh, my gosh. I just got on my official ADHD assessment the other day. It makes me feel relieved. I'm so proud of you, Mia. Congratulations. See you, chat, and Carly and Daisy. Yeah, Daisy left, but I'll tell her you said bye. Um... I don't know if it's a tick or what, but I have a thing where I twitch my nose and the corners of my mouth in a high anxiety situation. I have trouble telling the difference between ticks and stims, definitely. Um, it is hard to tell the difference, definitely. Um, because they are so similar. Do you have a hoodie? I do not. I'm so happy your merch is Canadian too. Yes, I am full on Canadian, you guys. A. <laughs> I'm so cringy. Um. I don't want to say I'm ticking when I'm not, you know? Yeah, definitely. You just did consecutive ticks. Does that happen often or is it usually one at a time? I don't even remember what I just did. <laughs> um, it depends. I really don't pay attention. I don't pay attention to my ticks because they're so natural. Um, a lot of the time they'll be like a one after the other. Um, when I'm talking though, it's often um, like one at a time. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. It's something to think about. A. What's your favorite place you've ever traveled to? Mexico. I love Mexico. It's so beautiful. I miss my friends down there. We have um, a fisherman family friend down there in, um, in Huatulco. And I used to go every year. And I haven't been in like five years, but I miss it. It's beautiful. I remember school being brutal. Thankfully at work, I have my own room where I don't have to be self-conscious. Yeah, that's awesome. I wish my work was like that, but I work retail, so. <laughs> Does alcohol affect your Tourette's? Um, it's a good question. So I don't drink a lot. I really hate drinking because I'm on so many meds. I take like 12 pills every night. 
um, all for mental, basically mental issues and neurological issues. Um, and the side effects, the, the bottles literally say, do not operate heavy machinery, do not drink alcohol. So I can have like one drink, um, but I get really sick if I drink. So I often don't. Um, when I have one drink, it makes me feel disgusting and my tics, no, nothing changes. I just, I hate, I don't like to drink. It makes me feel really sick on my meds. So I don't know if there's an accurate answer for me to answer this because I don't think I'm the best person to ask because I'm not supposed to drink. Man, Mexico was amazing. We went on a couple of cruises, amazing. Ticks usually have this tense feeling like a cough or sneeze. I feel like stims are like deciding to scratch an itch. Interesting, that's a very, <laughs> A very good analogy she could get very sick from drinking yes are there any good Mexican restaurants in Canada no <laughs> don't drink on your meds I really don't I don't often have alcohol but on New Year's once I had a whole screaming tick attack because of it so personally for me alcohol makes me much worse interesting you should get an Udi they are so warm yes I'm about to stop drinking alcohol too because it makes me feel bad yeah um I've never done the weed at all so i don't know emmy lightning is drinking wine right now cheers with my imaginary glass um <laughs> i actually can't drink either it makes my anxiety disorder and depression so much worse yeah i just got diagnosed last week so they want to put me on this blood pressure med it makes me nervous i hate pills oh goodness yeah have you ever thought of an um service animal i haven't i have my dog daisy who you guys saw at the beginning if you were here um she isn't a service animal but she is the most loving dog and i don't think i need a service animal i just need a dog that i can pet and will let me pet her um and she does and she's great so that's all i really need do you have a skincare routine no this is just my skin i have a little bit of makeup on but like um you guys, I'm really lucky with my skin. Like, not to, like, I don't break out, like, ever. Um, I'm too much of a lightweight to drink. I'm 5'1 and can't hold my liquor. Yeah. You have beautiful skin. Thank you. My acne is so bad. Yeah. I used to have really bad acne as a kid. And, like, this right here, this is, like, different. Cause I never, and this is, like, here and here. I never get acne anymore. So, I'm like, what is happening? Um... My acne is so bad. Speaking of animals, is that Pink Floyd next to you there? Oh, you guys, it is Floyd. It's Pink Floyd. He's here, you remember. This is my axolotl plush named Floyd. We named him in my last live stream. Um, because I'm the biggest Pink Floyd fan, it's my favorite band and he's pink, so why not Floyd, Pink Floyd? It's good eye, good eye, let's put him down. We also have my son, Huckfit. <laughs> um. Have you ever tried working at it? I, yeah, I have, I've held a retail job for six years now. I work at a bookstore and it's great. Um, Misty, what's the medication? That's so cute. Did you celebrate? Do I celebrate Halloween? I honestly, you guys are going to hate me. I hate Halloween. I think it's so dumb. I don't dress up. I hate eating candy. I hate chocolate. I hate all candy basically. So like Halloween is my worst nightmare. I hate horror things. I'm scared of everything. So Halloween, I hate. <laughs> um, I work at a children's library and it's the best job in the world. That's awesome. Oh, clonidine, yes. Um, my birthday is the day after Halloween. So I stay in and play games and programs, which is cool. My spooky heart. I'm so sorry, you guys. I literally hate Halloween. <laughs> oh no, you were so perfect. I know you guys. I'm gonna lose like 10,000 subscribers for saying I hate Halloween. Um, OMG girl, I don't like Halloween either. I feel like that's so rare, right? You hate chocolate. Carly, I thought we were friends. I'm so sorry, Twiggy. OMG, there goes me asking you to read spooky stories. <laughs> you guys, I'm canceled. I'm canceling myself. I, I got rice. I hate Halloween. I don't like candy. Chocolate cannot eat it because it makes me sick. Um, yeah. Oh, I am on Guanfacine. I'm on Guanfacine too. I canceled you with that question. I know you guys, I'm canceled. 
I am on guanfacine Misty. Um, you can add me on Discord if you want. Yes, yeah, so you guys, I have a Discord server. It's called Taking Together. Come join. We can chat. <laughs> um, yeah, I got canceled. I should like change the um. The title of this video to taking together gets cancelled <laughs> um i'm gonna show up outside of the picture person for torches oh no i can't figure out how to join your discord server but i want to i'm on guanfacine too curly getting yourself banned i'm gonna join asap yeah you guys come join um at the end of this live stream i'll post a link in the bio or in the description so give me about five minutes after this has ended i will post in the description the link if you click the link, you join. We chat. Woo! <laughs> I got rice. How do you join a Discord server? I tried it back and it wouldn't come up. Um, if I send you, if you click the link, it should take you right there. I don't know. Love you, Nina. I'll look for you on her Discord. Cool, guys. Yeah, come join. Um, you guys, I've been on for 100 minutes. This has been a wild ride. We have had the time of our lives, but I think I need to skedaddle. Um, will the link be valid once the live is over as well? Definitely. The shocking truth about taking together. <laughs> Just, you guys kill me. I love you all. What is the place you have ever been before that you would like to visit? Um, I like to go to anywhere in Europe. Take care of yourself. I'm excited. I've been loving your content for a while now. That your takes trigger me. I'm sorry, Misty. <laughs> okay, for realsies. I'm gonna head off. It's been a long heckin' time on here, but I appreciate you guys so much. I hope to see you all at my next live stream, which is unscheduled because I'm impulsive and don't know when I come on. But I come on, and I hope you'll join. Um, yes, I shocked you guys so much with my content about Halloween chocolate and candy, canceling myself. Um, but I love you guys so much. Thank you for coming on, and I hope to see you guys next time. Refresh this video in like five minutes if you want to join my discord i will link it in the description i'll put like discord link here with the link click it join me we can chat okay you guys thank you so much for watching <laughs> as always we're learning together we're laughing together and we're ticking together i love you guys and if it's night sleep well if it's day party on okay bye <laughs>